Messages within YouTube. This is something a lot of people don't actually do very well. Um, if we go into the community area, then click on messages. You'll see that you have an approved message. There's nothing in this one. Uh, filtered messages where it's sort of put to one side, but they exist, but off, often you don't get any notifications on your emails. And likely spam, you don't get any notifications. So if you say, put a link in a video, email to an email to me uh, in the private messaging of YouTube it might go in the spam folder and it doesn't tell me it's there it's only when I check this they'll actually know it's there which is why if you've got a YouTube channel and never used this you might find you've got loads of messages that you've never received obviously you've got another one here which is your sent messages now if we go down to comments you'll see it's got a similar layout. You've got your published comments, held for review, which may not push a notification in your emails to say it's there, and likely spam never sends me a notification that it exists. So you've got messages in these two that actually may have some valid comments that you haven't even looked at. Then if you go to subscribers, there's some useful stuff you can do here. The first thing is you can set it up, as you can see, most recent, but then we go, well, who's the most popular YouTube guys on our subscribers? The first one is me, because I've got 3,000 subscribers. Then Octoline's got 1,000. Uh, Alina Rain's got 415. And it goes down that way. The reason this one's important is if you're looking for collaboration, it's very likely the people that have joined your channel are from a similar interest. Now, so it's their channels are similar. So you can collaborate and share information. But you could also say... Uh, you know what, I want to send them a message, and along here, send a message. Uh, Hi Alina, thanks for subscribing. And then that'll send her a private message to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. And the other thing you can do is click subscribe. I don't click subscribe until I've actually viewed the channel, um, and it's a channel I actually use. The reason being is like for like, uh, subscribe for subscribe doesn't actually produce anything so there's no actual merit in actually doing that the only value in it is if you actually use those channels because obviously when you load up your dashboard let's go to the dashboard here so you can actually see this what should we go? hang on I go to my home page that's even better let's just click on my YouTube you can see I've got my recommended which is obviously the kids logging into my into mine here um, but obviously you can set this up to have the videos from your subscribers or whatever so you get all the latest videos as you can see down here look these are all my latest these are the people I subscribe to myself so I see what their latest videos are which is obviously useful for collaboration because these are videos I'm interested in as such I go to those channels have a look see what they've got new and comment and engage with their users and in in return, you find a lot of their users will actually take an interest in your channel as well, and it cross collaborates. All right, thanks for watching. Just want to show the importance of messages and comments. There's a lot more hidden away in YouTube than just uploading and reading the comments that you're seeing on screen, because a lot of them don't actually get that far, especially if somebody puts a link or something in there. Um, for example, somebody did today relating to an American that has died in the Philippines. Um, the link went into the spam folder and I only got it because I got up this morning to do something else and I was just checking my messages and I could see it was in there. Anyway, thanks for watching.